Hey guys, Jamie here with Multi Playhouse, doing a solo, another show by myself. My buddy Kevin's out tonight. Uh, obviously, it's St. Patrick's Day, so he's out having a good time somewhere, probably getting plastered somewhere. So tonight, guys, I thought we'd do a show on a game that I've been involved with for probably, well, it said, uh, uh, so it's been about two years, two years that I've been involved with this game, and like I said, I wanted to kind of go over and just do a look of the game Star Citizen. If you have not heard about Star Citizen, then you must be living under a rock. If you do, you know, obviously, if you're in games and you play video games and you know about all the different stuff that's been on, a lot of the uh, developers, a lot of um, uh, writers have been talking about this game. Uh, so, obviously, Star Citizen is a crowdfunded game. It started back. Um, in 2013, I think 2012 actually, um, it was just a Kickstarter by a gentleman by the name of Chris Roberts. Uh, he had this idea or what he wanted to make uh, this, I don't, I want to call it a space simulation game. Um, his ideas of this game was that it was going to be this massive world with tons and tons of things going on and um, if you don't know who Chris Roberts is, uh, let me kind of backtrack real quick. Like he's the guy that uh, did Wing Commander um, back in the early '90s. Uh, what Chris Roberts did, he created that game. Everybody loved the game. Then he kind of, kind of got away from gaming, and then he went into movies and did uh, s graphics and other stuff for um, movies and stuff like that. So he kind of got away from the industry for a while. Uh, went into the movie industry and did things with them and then um, at some point he decided that he was going to come back and then um, and make this awesome great um, space simulation game that he's always dreamt about the but the reason why it, it took him forever or the, uh, why he hadn't decided to do it uh, until t I think it's 2012 because he thought back then that he um, that the the graphics wasn't high enough and and you know he wanted this real life feel of the simulation game and um, really it was just something that he decided you know it's time now and after seeing the upgrade and the uh, um, how technology was changing and how gaming was changing and how more realistic and how the resolution and the graphics were starting to get better and better by the time 2012 came around he's like okay it's time so uh, for the past uh, three years now he basically started out as a Kickstarter explained what he wanted to do and every space sim nut that you can think of came out of the woodwork and just started help crowdfunding this game and um, basically he just said you know he he had different marks and basically I'd like to hit this amount uh, and the, well kind of let me again I'm gonna backtrack again the the way he wanted to crowdfund was based on how much he made he would add different features into the game and so every time he hit a milestone uh, a financial milestone he would add certain features into the game so it was kind of like this progressive growing thing that if he hit this milestone financially you would get all these great little uh, perks and, and different parts of the games that that you know he wanted to add but just didn't have the the backing or the funding for it and so as it started to as he started having all these different types of um, milestones people started giving tons and tons of money and, and honestly I was one of them I put money into the game um, I'm a I started funding or still uh, backing up this game in 2013 so probably about a year later um, after he had announced that he wanted to do it um, I started kind of getting involved and then I ended up becoming a backer and the way it works and I'm on their website here so I just kind of left it like this so I'll show you I needed to sorry here one second guys <clears throat> go back okay I'm good to go uh, I was trying to get things set up on uh, my twitch channel here and I forgot to turn it on so just there we go and this is on so if you guys start chatting with me I can start seeing you guys chatting perfect squared away Sorry about that, guys. So anyways, uh, back to the website here. This is basically the beginning of the website. Now, 
understand this game is a portion of this game is done. He's got certain aspects, like I said, uh, of building on this game. And basically, as the money started coming in, he'd open up certain specific parts of the game. And, you know, besides the campaign uh, story mode, uh, which is still being worked on at this time, we don't have access to that yet. Um, but um, we have a certain piece of of the game, which is basically the flight sim, or what, what they call the area commander. And uh, we'll get into that, and we'll just kind of go through all the different pieces that he has open that we can get to, as well as what uh, we expect to have in store when the game actually starts to release. Uh, a lot of this game is still a lot in beta. A lot of the game is still a lot in alpha as well in regards to certain pieces that we haven't, as backers, don't even or can't see yet. Um, just we can't get to it yet because of the fact is they're not ready to release it to the backers yet. <clears throat> so, anyways, uh, Star Citizen is basically, and you go to uh, robertspaceindustries.com, and if you want to, you can basically, if you wanted to get involved, uh, you can go to uh, here, and you can do under the, let's see where it's at, ah, the store area. Excuse me. You go to the store. Uh, first and foremost, you create a login. So you go over here, you log in, and you get you create your account, what have you. So from that point, you go to the store. Uh, let's see. Come on. I don't know why it's been dogging. There we go. Uh, store. And you can go under pledge. Uh, under pledge is basically where we go in and or you can go in and you can become a, a pledger or a backer and uh, I, actually I don't think they have backing anymore what he's done he's kind of gotten away uh, at this time period now uh, he's gotten away from um, doing the backing backers have already come and gone if you were backing that was probably two years ago and the funding that's when a lot of his focus was on the funding part to make sure the game was uh, or enough money was being funded to add the different parts. Now, uh, again, just to kind of give you an, an idea of how many people are have been backing or have been interested in this game, there is over 800,000 subscribers. I, I don't even want to call them subscribers. They're just people that are interested in this game and who basically have read a lot about the game. So 800,000 people... And he is at uh, the last uh, was seventy five million dollars, if I'm not mistaken. That's the last total. Okay, he is slated, and what he think is going to happen by the end of this year is that this game, funding wise, will hit a hundred million dollars. Okay, so that's the most ever in game history of any crowdfunding game ever to make that amount or get that type of funding from just general people and so you can see how this game is going to be I, all that money is going directly into the game uh, the people that are making the game uh, it, it goes all back into the company <clears throat> so everything that you want to do to get yourself involved or to be to play a portion of the game uh, you would go to the store like I was saying and then from here you can pick the different packages and the different packages range from somewhere between some you can buy from thirty five dollars all the way up to a couple grand and you'll I'll show you some of these as you go through here here and look at the different packages now what do you get in these packages well one you get access to the beta uh, two you get the ship that you purchase with that package uh, with inside that package there are certain perks that you'll get as well so you'll get different things you'll get different paints um, which they haven't finished yet but uh, there's paints uh, you'll get uh, uh, in-game currency that you can use to currently you can buy uh, certain things that you want to uh, buy for your hanger so uh, and there's different types of hangers too so this game is really is they have tried to make it as real as possible as they can there is so much to this game. I mean, they've talked to people in regards to the physics on how the spaceships would react and how they would float and what type of G-forces there are in space. So they really have gone all out in regards to basically 
making this game as real as possible as as close as they can get you know without really um, basically having to go up into space and seeing what it's like for themselves so they've had a lot of people they've to talk they've talked to and uh, they've actually done different studies on what would happen if this happened in space or what would happen if you know these lasers were shot they they literally did did all these different types of tests of what would happen to these ships if they got hit by a laser or um, bullets or whatever in in a space type of um, world I guess uh, I wouldn't say atmosphere because it wouldn't be in an atmosphere but <coughs> They did all these different research, and, and uh, like I said, it, it's it's beyond what you would ever see in the space sim. So, yeah, I'm kind of building it up, but it's definitely going to be worth when I show you the game, uh, and you'll see why. Now, I'll just give you guys a heads up. <coughs> My computer is a little bit on the lower end model, and I'm at the in the process of basically upgrading some of the pieces to my computer to make this game run uh, really smooth on a higher level right now honestly I can run it uh, I can run it at medium but it, there's a lot of jittery there's a lot of um, it uh, a lot of frames are dropped and what have you so it, it's pretty crazy on low I can do pretty good but anything above that I start to have a lot more problems and you'll hear my PC go nuts right now because to run this game it, it takes a lot <coughs> so Let's uh, kind of get back to what I was talking about, the different packages. Uh, different packages you have here, you can click on the Aurora MRRC starter package, which is $45. And you've got the Mustang uh, AC uh, starter as well as the Mustang Gamma package. Now, each one, like I said, if you click on the more info, it'll tell you what, what you'll get inside these here. Uh, click here. So in this package, you'll get the Aurora R, uh, MR. And, and what happens is, all these ships are different and they have different they do different things for different purposes um, you have some that are fighter classes you have some that are cargo classes um, some that are medical ships that you can purchase for um, some are single player only uh, or seaters um, some can have up to four and as the ships get bigger and bigger you can have 16 20 whatever uh, it allows to have in those ships so as of right now uh, I think I actually can't remember what the highest numbers they have but back to uh, purchasing uh, let's say if you were gonna purchase this here uh, obviously it's forty five dollars and with inside this package you get the Aurora MR which is this ship here and then what also contains is the arena commander pass uh, basically that's what we have access to at this time and it's basically a PvP uh, so, um, well, let me take that back. It's not PvP. It's a arena type of fighting match where you can either do AI, you can fight against AI with cooperative players, or you can do a, basically a full blown dogfight. They also have a race in there that you can do as well. And this is all inside the uh, arena commander <coughs> uh, portion of the game. And uh, that I'll show you guys that today and uh, see what it's like. Um, and we can kind of go and talk about more about how to play and what devices to use and what have you as we get closer so anyways back to this here so obviously you get the arena commander pass uh, the three months insurance uh, what that is is basically you got insurance on your craft so um, I'm trying to remember how they set this up is basically um, if there's any problems with like inside the game where you're playing and you're playing crashes or there's um, you run into things they actually have insurance that will rebuild these airplanes for you it, or the excuse me these uh, spaceships for you so that's what these three months insurances are it, it, if you need to read up more about it it's it's pretty interesting what what they're doing I'm telling you that this game is have, has gone overboard on what they're trying to do and what what Chris Roberts wants to create it, it's this huge M, I don't even want to call it an MMO it's just a huge simulation that basically has everything so uh, Star Citizen digital download obviously it's the game uh, when it comes out in full uh, self land hangar uh, it's basically where all your spaceships will be you can um, they're working on a system right now you can currently have I believe five in a hangar um, they all you know based on the different sizes of ship that you have um, it, it's all gonna depend so um, it, it when you get to the bigger ships they're not going to be able to fit in the hangar there's going to be a certain area that they'll probably be floating and you'll have to fly to to get to those bigger ships um, 
again, they're also, like I was saying, they're trying to work on this system, and they were talking about it at their town hall on January 2015, is where they're going to have, inside that hangar, there will be a rotating kind of platform, uh, form, or platform that basically just kind of rotates, and you'll have multiple of those. So if you have multiple ships, and you want to kind of, get to a specific ship you go to an area you'd say what ship that you want loaded it basically the bridge goes down and it rotates to your ship that sit on these little platforms and it rotates kind of like a carousel up to where the main uh, um, hangar is and then it brings it up to you inside the hangar so y you know you want to show off your friends all that you show your friends all the different or the the five that you're really like then you would have those up on the hangar uh, the other thing is you'll get a digital star, citizen manual, beta access, uh, starting money, a thousand UEC, which is basically the credits, the in-game credits that you would use, and then the Squadron 42 digital download, and that's another portion of the game besides Star Citizen. So as you see, you get uh, different stuff. Now, understand one thing: this game is also going to be um, a subscription base, so. Um, when you see it, uh, besides purchasing these games, you'll also actually have to pay a subscription to actually play the game. But when you see the game, you'll see why it's going to be 100% worth uh, ba basically paying for the subscription. Y you'll see. You'll be. Uh, anyways, I was totally excited when I saw it. So, all right. So again, that's basically how the packages work. You pick a package what you want, and then you can go from there. Also, you can not, you know, after you pick the packages, you can start just building ships that you want to buy. Uh, this here, uh, right here, is basically the different categories or the different companies that create these um, ships. So there's different companies within uh, Star Citizen game. Uh, the Vanduul, the Banu, <coughs> uh, the Anvil Aerospace, Kruger Intergalactic, Robert Space Industries. Uh, Origin Jumpworks, uh, GmbH, all these um, fictitious companies uh, create these all these different spaceships that you can pur uh, basically purchase. Uh, right now, we're looking at all the ships, and you can purchase these. And here's the F uh, F seven C Hornet. Um, if you want it, it costs you 110 bucks for the ship. Again, all that money that you pay for these ships goes back into the game, and the more money goes into the game, the better uh, Chris Robert makes this game. So um, there's a lot already that has gone into this game. And um, I can't see why or how this game could not be phenomenal um, by the time we get to the game and uh, start playing. So as you can see, you can see you once you buy your package, um, then you start building or picking up ships that you want to buy. They're not all that expensive. Some are lower prices. Like here, here's one that's for $60. Uh, they have another one for thirty dollars, and that's the Mustang Alpha that you can actually uh, buy uh, for thirty bucks. Um, here's the Cutlass Red. I'm actually wanting. Uh, we haven't talked about professions yet, just because they're still up in the air. They really haven't said too much about it, um, and and how they're all going to work. They've kind of said here and there how certain things are going to work and, and, and how certain uh, professions are, but they really haven't got too far in detail about how the game or how the professions are really going to work. So, uh, one thing that I've kind of been interested out about is doing the medical side of it or the, I don't know, I call them the healer, but it more the medic uh, for the game and for your organization. Um, uh, in regards to the organizations, now they've opened up to where people can actually start creating what we consider in an MMO like clans or uh, where you have group of you basically start your own your own organization and people within that organization will have certain or specific type of roles and that's where the professions come involved um, obviously there have some type of medic or medical facility and this uh, cutlass red is the one actually I'm looking at but it's 120 bucks don't want to pay for it now but uh, as you can see it fits four people in it and then it gives the length and the meters and stuff like that and then the mass in kilograms and the, and who the manufacturer is so like I said they've gone all out and so it, it depends on what you're really looking for if you're looking for a specific class ship here you can break them down they're broken down by personal transports um, 
versatile fighter bomber cargo and a capital capital if I'm not mistaken those are the huge ships yeah here they are and when they don't have prices <laughs> they're gonna be expensive I can tell you that right now uh, these are the ones that are probably gonna be like eleven hundred dollars and above to actually purchase these ships uh, it'll be interesting um, I, I, the other thing I'm kinda interested to know is if they're actually going to um, um, what was I gonna say um, allow you to buy these certain ships or buy any type of ships with in-game currency yet I haven't seen it yet I haven't read anything on the forums or uh, saw anything on the in any of the chat channels that I've been uh, hanging around in so uh, still up in the air but I would assume at some point they'll start allowing you to buy certain ships with in-game currency uh, like I said the funding I think the funding has already been done um, so um, with the in-game stuff I'm, I'm hoping that'll happen so as you as you can see these are the huge massive classes like I said these won't go in hangars these are probably just gonna sit in space somewhere and you can fly to them and you know these can be these capital ships for you and your group and or your organization where you guys can uh, hang out and there might be like an auction house or you know where you do all your business with your organization so and again, uh, here's the cargo ships. I'm just trying to see if I can pull up some of these that have the prices. Some of these do. Here's one for $45, the Aurora CL. Freelancer for $110. Uh, here's the Caterpillar. Do, do. Uh, these don't have the prices. I was looking for the prices. If I can find one, I'll let you know. I think here. Let's try this one here. It's just funny to see these things with the, the prices that they have. Here you go. Like, here's the Constellation Andromeda for $225. Uh, no price off. And the Constellation Phoenix. Personal transport. Let's see what we got here. Uh, these are the personal transports, the smaller ones. Uh, here. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, is, you get what I'm saying here. Most of this is all purchased by you and what you use to spend. Um, you would basically buy all your stuff out so far out on their website. And this is basically how you do all that. You can also buy extra stuff. Uh, you can do ship upgrades if you want. Here you purchase it. Oh, this was kind of cool. Um, let's say you have one type of ship and you really wanted to really have this other ship but you don't want to pay the full price on it and so what they do is kinda of like a um, a ship upgrade that you can basically you start with one ship and then you pay, pay for the upgrade and it kinda of turns into this other ship that you've been wanting so uh, like here for example you can turn the 315P to a 325A upgrade for five bucks um, or let's see the other one here you can turn the FC, uh, F7CS Hornet Ghost to the F7CR Hornet Tracker uh, for fifteen dollars. So you pay for these upgrades, and then they basically turn your ship um, to something totally different. So um, you can do that uh, uh, if you want to switch your ship, or if you want to do something totally different. This is what you can do. Uh, the other extra stuff that you can do here are the extras you can buy here. Let's see here. Uh, here's the add-ons. Uh, the starting hangar here, you can switch that over to the VFG industrial hangar upgrade. You can change them. Different add-ons you can get. Uh, you can see you can uh, modify what the hangar looks like. Um, basically to whatever type of uh, what visual um whatever visual that you like to have of what your hanger to look like. I think right now mine look is is like this so far, which is the starting hanger, which is fine for me. It's no big deal. <coughs> you can buy different colors for different skins, game universe maps. <laughs> I want to know what this is. It hasn't shown it yet, but shut up and take my money. Um haven't seen anything of like that. You can uh Full Stars Citizen soundtrack, you can buy that stuff. So different things that you can purchase. Um, sub sub subscription base, we really haven't um, seen too much of, except for this here. Uh, and what I'll show here is like, let's say you can do the uh, Centurion subscription base. 
and I'll explain this is if you're interested in going above and beyond to support Star Citizen development there's no way better than a development subscription. Subscriptions get a variety of unique add-ons available nowhere else which are created using the money paid to, into subscription fees. Products like Jump Points uh, 10 for the chairman and around the verse could not happen without our generous subscri uh, subscribers. So basically this money that you pay on a monthly basis basically you can be a subscriber you pay money into it every month and it goes to basically what he says there all these different things that they're doing for the game so that's what the subscription is uh, central core bank is basically uh, the UEC money which is United Earth credits and this is the the in-game credits that you can use um, you can I'm sure you're gonna be able to uh, gain some of that money when the uh, star citizen comes out you'll be able to purchase or not purchase actually uh, make money uh, for the economy uh, with inside the economy of the game um, here at, at the present moment you can actually purchase some of this UEC credit so that you can purchase different things um, as a backer I was able um, I think because I started in 2013 I got a certain amount of UEC credits off the bat and I was able to purchase different things uh, I was I bought like a, uh, a buggy um, inside my uh, hangar so I drive around in a little buggy that uh, if I want to uh, and I'll show you all that stuff once we get inside um, the hangar there. But I just want to kind of show you how Star Citizen is actually making this uh, game work and how you do things outside the game uh, for for inside, basically. Uh, so essentially, that's pretty much it. You, like I said, I showed you the game packages. The pledge is basically you pledge your money to the, the game and you get certain perks for pledging. Uh, the game package is based on if you're ready to play, you buy a certain package, you get certain things like I showed you before. Ships, you can sell the different ships that they are. Extras, uh, you can b dive, uh, buy different uh, cross chassis upgrades. That's what I was telling you where you can you have one ship and you want to buy this other or you want to create this other ship. That's where the cross chassis upgrades work. Uh, you can buy ship upgrades from weaponry to rocket uh, racks to add different uh, stuff to your ships which is pretty cool I was doing it last night uh, I was in a couple of fights and um, I was upgrading my um, I think my guns on uh, my wings uh, and that did a lot more damage and shot uh, more rapidly so again you can purchase that stuff with all the UEC stuff so all the in-game credit you can purchase all that stuff for so anyways this is pretty much the outside of this game of Star Citizen. I wanted to let's see, scroll up here. Let's see, did I miss anything else? Merchandise. If I think, I think those are just some of the things that you can purchase outside of the game that are you can uh, buy for yourself and what have you. Uh, the man himself, right there, that's Chris Roberts. Uh, he's um, man, that that guy is amazing if you ever hear him talk he's great uh, he has such a great vision on what he how he wants this game and he's not um, holding back in any way and anything that it, he wants done is being done uh, one of the cool things that I was listening to the town hall meeting was that he got the guys from the creators of rise um, for uh, the modeling of the characters or for your character in the game he's having them uh, create the modeling of the the head and the face so that it looks exactly like the guys you know uh, or how the game looked like in rise so again they they have they they're going all out there's no stops on this game whatsoever i mean we're talking tons and tons of money's being put back into this game and you know you're going to get a fantastic beautiful looking game with every thing that you possibly Im imagine that you want to do in a space simulation game it's there it's going to have the MMO aspect it's going to have a first person shooter aspect uh, which they're kind of working on let me see if I can show you some of the uh, stuff here ship specs development status funding I saw it somewhere Mm -hmm. um, ship specs, development status funding. I think it's under the game. Hold on a second here. And I just wanted to kind of show you what they're kind of working on. Um, this is basically the stuff that they've been working, or basically what they 
the achieved and the unprecedented level of realisms. The next ge generation of space flight, uh, a living, breathing universe, is basically what he's saying. What this game is going to be about, the, the community powered behind it. Um, I want to see if I can find it here. Here'd be a nice little trailer for you guys to watch. This is all like it says. It's a 100% in-game image. Uh, excuse me, engine. Let's get to this real quick like. If you haven't seen this yet, it's going to be nice. Again, this is all in game. So as you see, you've saw bits and pieces of basically what the game's going to become. Um, you saw a lot of the inside stuff um, where you saw the fighting stuff. Um, wait till I start playing. It's exactly what you saw um, from uh, the trailer itself. The first person shooter, that was supposed to be out this month. Part of, You saw little pieces of it again in, there, in that trailer as well. Um, but they pushed it back until April. So we won't, uh, backers won't get it until April. Um, and then we'll get to actually play it and kind of go through all the different bugs and um, do all the fun stuff with it as well. So uh, that'll come out, uh, they're saying like April 2nd, April 3rd. So beginning of next month. Uh, so we're a couple of weeks away from it. And then uh, as you see, you saw some of the, uh, the fighting stuff uh, in space. Uh, you saw uh, one part where there was... Um, kind of it, it was in uh atmosphere it was on some planet and uh i did that last night too it's a race where you race with your buddies and you go through these uh circle hoop things and you basically do like three or four or five i think it's three or five laps uh of going through these loops and you race each other so depending on the ship that you got and how well it uh how fast it is is basically 
who wins. So it, it, it's fun. It's a fun game, and we'll kind of touch through that, and we'll go through the game and look at all that. Um, you saw a little bit of Star Citizen of the different uh, cities there was. Uh, they were showing a little bit of that. It, it's just going to be a phenomenal game. It's just going to be one of those games where you can play forever. And I, this has kind of been a game that I've been ultimately have been waiting for for a very long time. Uh, I've said that about a lot of different MMOs, but uh, for a space sim like this to come out, this is gonna just just gonna be one of those games where you're gonna play for hours on end. So uh, the real physics is what the, what I told you that they talked about before. They're really looking into that, um, what it can do, what's uh, possible with G forces or no Gs and what have you. So uh, again, they're dealing, well, they're working with real physics, um, the multi crew and capital ships, basically where you're gonna go. Um, and spend most of your time on these ships with your organization. So uh, that's pretty much that's it in regards to this here. So uh, let's see here. Uh, I want to see if I can. I want to show you a couple other things. Transmissions, engineering. Uh, that's all transmissions. Conlink stores. Uh, there's no events. You can go to the different events here. If there was any events uh, pop up in your area. Pretty cool to go to. I haven't been to one, but uh, I've seen a lot of them online, and uh, they're just really cool shows. And like I said, Chris Roberts shows up. A lot of the engineers show up. Uh, the uh, graphic artists show up, and and they basically um, they run through basically what, uh, everything that they've built so far, and things that they are working on, and what they're doing. Uh, they answer a lot of the community's questions. Um, that's kind of been huge for them. Is they go out and they answer, they get a lot of uh, the questions off of Twitter, off their Facebook page, uh, off the the chats here. Um, they constantly have people uh, scouring all the different social media that is in regards to this game. And, you know, people that have asked questions, they're pulling them in and bringing them to the town hall meetings and bringing them to the different uh, events that they're going to and, and answering these questions that people have been asking, uh, especially people that are interested in the game. And so they would show, you know, if there was a specific question somebody asked, they would actually show different uh, artwork or uh, video of them working on a specific uh, feature of that game. So, it, like I said, they, they, they have made it very clear that it's a community game and that it is them that is really or it's it's the community that's really um it's the community's game so it's kind of cool so to to be involved with such a game like this in itself so uh i think i'm going to stop here in regards to the website and then we'll dive into the game now bear with me once i start start up this game it's going to take a while to load um it's kind of slow and from that point uh, once I get into the game, it, it's fine. So, <clears throat> and so from that point, um, we'll go from there. So, let me switch over to here. Um, close this down. Uh, turned off the music. You guys can hear the music. <laughs> get into this game here now like I said bear with me now something to keep in mind um, in regards to options of, of playing the game um, obviously keyboard and mouse um, my son's good buddy uh, we were playing last night and he likes the feel of mouse and keyboard um, it's very it's a very good option it seems kind of odd but it definitely works I tried a little bit of it um, I just didn't like the feel with it um, but um, I, I didn't I didn't care for it. Uh, the other obvious um, option for a controller is a flight stick and a thrust. You can buy those two separate ones if you really want to get uh, into the immersion of the game, or you can just buy one of the Thrustmaster uh, sticks and then use the keyboard for certain functionalities. Uh, the other option they have available is your Xbox One controller. Um, that goes to your PC so um, I am using my Xbox One controller just like the flight stick um, there's certain options or certain functionalities of the game that you won't be able to do with the 
uh, Xbox controller. So you kind of have to do it, it's it's a partial type of deal. So you get a lot of the functionality from the controller, but uh, other are functionalities that you need to get done uh, or certain things that we want to happen. You have to use the keyboard. So um, those are pretty much the main um, type of uh, controllers that you can use uh, at this present time. I, I don't think there would be anything else that you'd want to use um, unless besides using a lot another Logitech type of controller or uh, I don't know, even know if you can use a PlayStation controller for a PC. I highly doubt it um, and for those who uh, like the game or like the PC, uh, PS uh, controllers. So once the game loads here, I'm telling you uh, <laughs> it's that big of a game the other thing that they were saying is that this game by the time that it gets out by the time they actually finish creating this game this game is going to be somewhere in the ballpark about a hundred gigs so you can imagine how big and massive this game is going to be a lot of it's going to be world a lot of it is going to be graphics uh, and all the little intricate pieces that you know that we're missing in certain MMO games or certain things they're they're really going all out with this game so you're gonna get the full immersion of the space simulation game uh, I can't remember what they called it they called it something else but um, for me the different things that they're gonna have is just unreal they're um, like I was talking about the different professions um, based on the different professions that you start at uh, you're gonna be on the uh, different planets or you're going to start at a, a specific hangar in a different planet area. Uh, so, you know, if you're trying to hook up with your friends, obviously the best way is to make sure that you guys are in the same organization. Uh, you guys can fly to that uh, ship, wherever that ship may be, and you guys can play together. Uh, my son and his friend were talking about being pirates. Uh, that's one of them that you can do. Uh, you can be a trade, trade person. Uh, that's another thing that you can do. Um... Let's see, besides being a person who um, you can attack and you can do, um, oh, what are the other ones? Um, I'm trying to think of the names. They really haven't said too much. But like I said, that, uh, you know, being a trader, a uh, person who trades different goods, you can do into, re uh, into resourcing where you go out and explore and find all the different resources. Uh, that your organization needs to craft different things. Um, uh, let's see, uh, the medical side, the, the, the medics that you can have. You can attach a medic to a, a specific group that goes out and takes out pirates. You know, that's like I said, my son, that's what he wanted to do was become a pirate. Uh, him and his friend were going to be pirates and they were going to just basically go and, um, board these other ships and what have you. And, um, uh, still other people's loots and what have you so uh like i said there's going to be different things that you can pick and as the game starts to progress they'll start talking more about it so anyways i finally made it into my hangar back and run through some of the stuff i'm sorry if it didn't show but i will definitely reshow a lot of this other stuff uh so what i'll show you guys here is basically this is where you can make all the changes to your ships uh you hit the tab key Let's see if, I, if I'm close enough. Uh, I gotta get a little bit closer. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of weird. Ah, uh, here we go. So, from here, I can use my mouse after I hit the, uh, the tab key, and then you basically pick the ship that you own. And here's all the different. Uh, on the left, it tells you what the ships are, and then if you if you don't grab on them, just to the side of them, you can flip through the different ships. There's my ship. So I drag it across. And now I have access to my ship. And if the right mouse basically turns the ship around. And you can see specific things that you can and can't change, you know. So there's the back end. Um, you can kind of hover over each item and it'll tell you kind of the information on it. Doesn't say too much. As you can see on the left out, it says left wing class one slot, compatible sizes one through three. So as you're buying the different types of uh, weapons to upgrade to your ship, 
Uh, only specific ones will obviously fit on specific ships. So mine are compatible sizes one through three. So uh, let me switch here. So obviously this is my ship. I can come over here to the weapon, kind of drag this over here. And then shows me the weapons that I have available. Available. Uh, this is the. Let me see. Got those available. Let's see. The ship. Go back. One. And this is the twin rack. Oh, the missile rack. Okay. So this is kind of good because I just purchased these last night, and I didn't get to put them on uh, my ship last night because. I purchased it, but I think it takes a little bit. I don't know how long exactly it takes to actually become available to use uh, in your hangar. So what you do is you basically drag and drop. So you take this, and oh yeah, I want it on that one right there, and it drops it on the side. So I take this here, I spin it around. Up, oh, I only bought one. That's right, I forgot. I only bought one because I didn't have enough UEC money uh, in-game currency to actually buy uh, uh, two of them. So um, I'll have to get some more in-game currency and then buy the other side. But those are pretty much it. Um, I can take these off if I want. I can pull these off. And I have the availability of two different types. Here. I have this one, and I have this one. This is the one that it kind of came with, these turret gun, gun turret ones. They're really horrible. They don't do well. Um, so I bought the next one up, which was the laser cannon. And again, like I said, you just drag and drop where you want it at. Come here. Oh, come on. Gun turret. Okay. Oh, you gotta have the little gun turret piece, and then you drop this piece on over the top of it. I forgot that you have to do that. So there's two pieces to it. And then you've got your ammo area over here um, based on what it is Talon Dom uh, Dominator 2 and those are for the missiles that I have uh, the different ammo boxes here for the different type of weapons I have uh, again remember I was saying you can different, change different things here if I had uh, the power different power cores that I can do I don't really think I can change anything shields you can buy better shields at some point and thrusters this doesn't fit mine. I don't know why. But between this one, this is the Hammer Propulsion HE 5.3. And that's the Drake, uh, uh, how do you, I don't know how to say that, tri -Rame S3 Joint Thruster, size 3. 1 through 4. Let's see if I can switch them out. There's that. Oh, come on. Uh, uh, let's see if it lets me. No, nope, it won't let me. So, I can place this here. I guess basically saying it's red, it doesn't fit. So, uh, there's the thruster for that. So, uh, that's basically how you make the changes to your ships. If you own multiple ships, then you can make different changes to your ships here. And this is. It automatically happens. Once you do it here in the uh, little hologram area, it changes it uh, I'll even show you that it did you can see how I added that uh, rocket rack mount here right over here I added that well once I go to my ship it's already on it so we're gonna back out we're gonna close out of this closing this up and then we'll go to my ship uh, I guess because I was having difficulties with the screen uh, now you'll actually get to see my ship so uh, you want to see my guy run? Uh, wait, insert. There we go. There's my dude. And so remember I was telling you about that uh, rack mounted that it does it once you add it. See, there it is. I added it on and there's my uh, rocket rack mount. And then with my two laser guns on the side. Uh, to see the inside of my ship, I'll take you inside there. And we'll go back to the first person view. So, this is the inside of my ship. This is more of a bounty hunter, like I was saying. Uh, let's lock up 
to the ship. There's my seat. You go and sit down in it. Turns around. And voila. There I am. In my ship, ready to go. So, uh, I'm not doing a arena commander just quite yet. We'll get into that here in just a second. Exit sim. And like I said, I can look around. And like I was saying earlier, you know, most of these are just displays and um, just to let me know what's going on with my ship. But if there was buttons, those are any buttons that are on these things will be available to use in the game. So um, just remember that that anything that's put in there is not just for looks, but it has a purpose and there's a reason why it's on there. So it's like I said, it's pretty cool why they have all these pretty cool things. So okay, so obviously that is the hangar. This is my ship. I've showed you all the stuff that you can do inside the hangar. Um, well, let's kind of get into the game. Let's check it out. Um, I'm going to jump out of my seat and jump back in it so that it brings up that menu again for Arena Commander. Uh, Arena Commander, like I said, is just one portion of the game or part of the game that you can do or a portion of the game that you can do. Um, while they'll have Star Citizen, uh, Hangar 42. Hangar 42 is going to be more of a military style. You can kind of join this uh, elite force called the Hang uh, Hangar 42 where you'll have certain missions that you'll do. It's kind of like you go into the service and you earn these different patches and you earn these different uh, uh, basi basically achievements uh, being in this group. So it's kind of cool. You, you have the game itself, the huge main game itself, and then you've got the um, basically the um, dogfighting portion of the game where you go to the arena commander, which we're about to go into, and then you've got the uh, squadron, for, or excuse me, squadron uh, 42. I'm, I'm sorry, I said hangar. I, I meant squadron 42. So there's going to be a lot of different portions of this game. So again, you're going to get a lot of w content for what you're paying for. So don't feel bad for the subscription and why they're doing subscription. It's going to be well worth it. All right. So uh, there's two different types of the arena commander. You can do spectrum match, which is basically it's um, you play up against real people. Uh, obviously, drone sim is basically what it is. Uh, it is uh, like the Spectrum match, but you just fight up against AI. Um, what we can do is we can do the drone sim. It's just kind of a little bit easier um, just because I'm by myself. So we'll go to that. And again, it takes a little bit to load. Uh, it's, trust me, it's, it's kind of tough. So uh, here's the drone sim main menu stuff. Um, let me see here. Oopsie. And we can pick what we want to do. Free flight, the Vandal Swarm. Uh, here's the classic race that I was telling you about. We can we'll take a look at that as out in free flight. Over here is basically um, the map that you want to do it on. You can do it on. Uh, this gives it a really bad look. I think it's the Draken Moon um, here, but you can do the Dire Star map or the. Either, I can't read what it says. It, it's really bad. And then you can pick the vehicles that you actually own uh, or which one that you want to use. I only own one, so I'm going to have to go use the one that I have here, the Origin 300i. And hold off uh, overwhelming Vandal onslaught led by several infamous ace pilots. UEE ships are in limited supply, so excessive casualties will result in defeat. Uh, so classic race. Okay, so let's do the Vandal Swarm so you guys can check this out. Alright, here we go. Well, you're going to hear my computer get all hot. <laughs> it's going to be really super loud. And same thing. It's going to take a while to load this. Like I said, it's just... Uh, there's a lot to this game. And, and the, the the graphics that they've that's in this game is just unreal. It's gorgeous. So you can understand why it takes a while to actually load. But um, I'm trying to think what else is there about this game. Uh, like I was telling you about the first person shooter is supposed to come out April 2nd. Uh, so when that comes out, I, I can do a little show on that as well. You guys can check it out. Um, if you haven't, go to uh, YouTube. Just look up Star Citizen. There are so many different videos out there in regards to um, what type of... Um, 
or basically what they're having that's coming out soon and what they already have. And some of the stuff they even break down, I was kind of looking up uh, in regards to being a medic. Um, they talk about that as too. Uh, they talk about that too as well. Um, the way the, the system's going to work, um, if you haven't seen it yet, for health wise, typically you got 100%. Uh, they usually kind of just do a one part body piece, or most games are where you have 100% health. Once you get to 0% health, you're dead. And that's um, how most games are, are built around with their, their health. Well, Star Citizen kind of took it to a different level and looking more of a broader um, type of feel of, of not just this single type of, okay, you have 100% health. If you get down to zero, uh, you're wounded or you're hurt or, or you're dead. Uh, the way they did it is that they broke up the body into 10 parts and they got the head, the torso, um, the two arms, the uh, the legs, um, they've got uh, a couple other body parts. So th they essentially broke up the body into specific parts and each part of the body can be damaged. And so based on what type of damage you get, whether it's the arm or the leg, um, if it's the shooting arm, then you're not going to be able to shoot. If it's your legs or if it's been blown off or whatever the face may be, you may not be able to walk. You might be laying there. Uh, so you're going to have all these different ways to get injured, but you may not die right away. And that, and their view on it was like they didn't want you to just 100% you're dead. And they wanted you to have damage. And, and someone's going Origin to jump works you at your service. Okay, so here we go. Core system operational. Scan initiated. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, Vandal swarm oh, initiated. Here we go. Ooh. Warning. There are multiple hostiles inbound. Alright, so this is just, you get a small little playing field. Hopefully it doesn't dog too much. Scan initiated. Um, if I wanted to roll, I hold the left trigger and I can roll. Um, just to steer left and right, I can do just a regular control. Alright, so, I know I'm kind of all over the place. Don't hit that thing, it's horrible. Alright, so, uh, use the D-pad to thumb through the, or scroll through the different enemies that you are. And you can see where they are. Double tap the right bumper. The the bumpers left and right bumper basically are your throttle and uh, what can decelerate you. So you got speed and then you can slow down with it. If you double tap it on whatever you're on, it will put you up to the speed of what it's on. If I want to fire. Like I said, there's G forces, so I'm just, you can see how it's kind of getting dark. Fly away a little bit. It's up to him. And then, like you said, you can see on your HUD there's different things. If I want to look for my guys, I can. Let's see. I can find. There's what. Blue is basically neutral or friendly, and orange is uh, enemy. And then arrows should pop up on the side, depending on where I'm at. Slow down a little bit here. Okay, you can see how on the left hand corner there you can see.
Refreshing shields. Flare launched. Yeah, I have flares too. at full strength. Achieved missile lock. Trying to shoot my rockets. I've never had to shoot my rockets before. Flare launched. Thanks, scan initiated. Warning, collision starboard. I wonder. It's my outside view just to let you know. You can see. Shit. Sorry. I don't really care for this view. Sorry guys, I'm trying I've never had to use my rockets before. This is the first time I ever had a loader. Oh. Storm shield under attack. Storm shielding depleted. Oh, not good. Fire! Come on. Refreshing shields. Flare launched. Achieved missile lock. Refreshing shields. Shields at full strength. No, oh, come on. Refreshing shields. Oh, my ship is jacked strength. up. I can't fly that. Achieved high. missile lock. They won't go. Warning. You are approaching simulation boundary. Oh crap, I'm gonna crash. Good. So I died. As you can see, there's simulation boundaries you can play with inside the game. And that's what I get for fooling around. I was changing up with my rockets and I didn't know how to get back to it. Stand so you can respawn in this game. 
I'm gonna try this one more time. Hopefully Origin jump remember. works at your service. Yeah, right, okay, so I can't operational. Do I don't know how Scan I switched them up. Initiated. Contact. Contact. Here we go. these rockets or these lasers that I have. I have a better gun. Oh, we chase it. There we go. So if I double tap the right bumper, it puts me at their speed so that I can catch up to them. Uh, let's see here. If I hit, I have certain keys that I can function through and change uh, what's important. I can turn on and off things. There we go. Of course you gotta fly. Of the thing. It's crazy. Or play that close to that wall. Circles. If I can get my rockets set, which I'd love to. Flare launched. Got them loaded. I just gotta figure out how to fire these damn things. G 
achieved missile launch. Damn it, I guess I can't do it. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, I have to figure out. I usually. Oh. Flare launched. Wow, this is horrible. Achieved missile lock. I'm fire! Sorry, that was a tail button. I was trying to figure out what the easiest way to do this. But, obviously. Chaff, countermeasure, active. Chaff, launched. I don't want to fire. I'm trying to figure out here which button. Oh, yeah. Hostile destroyed. Zero hostile contacts remaining. Warning. You are approaching simulation bound. Warning. There are multiple hostiles inbound. Warning. You are approaching simulation boundary. That's weird. Warning. Contact. You are approaching simulation boundary. Trying to get over there. This is horrible. Um, I'll have to figure out how to do it. But for whatever reason... Those laser things that are pointed down, yeah, you don't want to run into those things. Anyways, I'm going to stop there just because um, I wanted to finish this off here. And it's already 9.17. So, uh, you guys, this is Star Citizen. Um, I know it looked kind of choppy and I was having a tough time. Usually I don't. Um, I've never used the twin rack rockets before. So, for me, it was kind of something that I haven't done. Go back to the hangar here. So part of it was kind of crappy just because of the fact I didn't know how to use rockets. Um, and then for whatever reason, my guns changed. I have better guns. And for whatever reason, it uh, did my old ones again. But um, you guys, that is Star Citizen. That is a very small piece of Star Citizen. Um, that is just, like I said, a portion of, uh, well, uh, I'm going to say it's a third of what we know so far of the game. Um, it may even be an eighth of the game. We just don't know yet. 
there's so much going on and so much building on this game it, it's unreal um like i said you go to uh go to um uh, star citizen and look it up and if you guys are interested it it's going to be a great game it's going to be a lot of fun a lot of different professions that you're going to be able to pick from a lot as you saw there's going to be tons of different ships and they're and they're building more ships as we speak so tons of different really cool things that are going to be happening in this game um i hope you guys enjoyed this um don't forget guys um we stream every tuesdays and thursdays night uh usually around 7 30 pacific time sometimes maybe a little bit later it just depends on how our schedule is uh, with our regular work schedules and what have you uh, I promise you next, uh, this upcoming Thursday, uh, we'll have uh, Kevin back and we'll probably be playing something totally different. But uh, I did definitely wanted to show you guys this and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget guys, go to our YouTube channel. Uh, check it out there. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have some videos already up. We're starting to try to put them up as more often as we can. Go to YouTube, uh, look up Multi Playhouse and you'll find our channel there. Again, like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching uh, Star Citizen, and I'm Jamie. If you want to go ahead and um, tweet me, you can tweet me at JamieS7474. Uh, also, Kevin at KROR, which is K-R-O-E-R-4-4, and he's on Twitter as well. Um, let us let us know what we're, how we're doing. Uh, what do you want to see different? What do you want us to uh, play or start streaming more about I, I want to try to do a little bit more a couple of how to's and and different things of how I'm playing different games and what have you so I'm going to probably toss those in the mix so if there's something that you want to see let us know we'll be more than happy to uh, accommodate you guys and uh, most importantly guys leave us comment uh, comments let us know put stuff down below let us know how we're doing so that's it for tonight guys thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll get we'll see you guys Thursday